Yambush! You fool. Now I feast on your flesh. Okay. Two arms! Wow. Maybe I'm not paying attention to it enough, but it, it's like... What happened to that chimney? <laughs> that chimney seems like, you know, um... Looks like it needs a little bit of help. I knew it! Where's my flashlight? Who goes there? You want to die? <clears throat> yes, he does. Hello, survivors. I am your... Wait, wait. Okay, there we go. Always, I'm always doing that. I am your host, Get Good Fox, and welcome to some more Seven Days to Die. Still haven't completed that objective. Still not dead yet, so I'm uh, apparently I'm not doing very good at this game. But, um, yeah, so what are we going to do? It looks like we've got a little more time before night, and so I believe what I'm going to do is take another mission from Jugs, because I've been, you know, on my other save file, what I've been doing is kind of a pattern of, like, two missions a day, and then with the remaining time... Uh, oh, so thank you for the tip to remove those icons, so that's really nice. So let's go over to the Jug Zone. And, uh, yeah, I've been doing kind of, like, two missions a day, and then with the remaining time... I just kind of do whatever I want, like, uh, just targets. Maybe there's some areas I didn't fully loot and so forth. That's kind of the, what the just the pattern I've been going with. So I think I'm going to continue with that. Uh, while I'm here, I might as well get some iron. Because, like, why not? Need some iron. Iron's always nice. Oh, looks like I'm fall sinking into the ground. Looks like there is an iron deposit. Yeah, yeah, there's always an iron deposit down here. I can see, like, that is iron. And I'm guessing this is it right here. What Can I uncover it a little bit, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So this is our iron deposit. Um, we, oh, we always need more iron, so, like, I don't want to spend the whole episode digging for iron, but at the same time, there's a good chance I'm going to forget about it. I guess I could. Another thing I could do is just mark the location. Like, right here, I could just put a save one and just say it's like a... Uh, what icon would I want to use... Like, one of these, like, uh, just say it's iron deposit? I think there's an E in deposit, but whatever. There we go. Yeah, we'll just grab some of it. How much do we got? I need to look. Oh, we got plenty of wood. Okay, good to know. And I guess I'll dismantle this car while I'm here. I mean, why not? Get a whole bunch of stuff for him. So one of our objectives is we've got a little more, we still got, you know, the base is definitely coming along, but one thing that I probably should do is build the roof. And uh, one of the big tips I got is that you actually get EXP for upgrading blocks rather than placing them manually. And uh, that's, so that's what I'm going to do. And what's nice is I, I, was, I remember earlier talking about this idea that, hey, maybe what I should do is build it out of wood instead of cobblestone, but what I can do is I can just slowly upgrade them, and I can just turn them from uh, basically particle board into uh, wood, and then as I get more cobblestone, then I can upgrade them from wood to cobblestone, and that would be perfectly fine. Uh, in my save file, I or in my alternate file, I do. I, I The roof is done, It is, and it has been completely built in um, cobblestone, so that's always nice. If you got the dukes, I'll make the time. Uh, what jobs do you have? What's really close by? Wow, none of these are that close by. Clear zombies. That's what I'm in the mood for. Good feeling about you. What do you got for sale? I've got 1,600 dukes. Um, antibiotics. I think I'm going to buy some of those just to, you know, I think it would be a good idea to have a stockpile of these in case I get infected. I'm glad I could help you. Is she so surprised that I bought something? Okay, so over here we're going to go, and I guess I'll mark more iron deposits as I go. Oh, that's an area I dug for, um, do I have enough, I've got plenty of, okay, we got plenty of stones and plenty of wood. We're going to be looking for, okay, I thought maybe I would be able to find some, oh, let's dismantle this real quick. I thought I might find some, you know, pallets of, uh, what do you call it, cobblestone. I'm going to start collecting the cement. I can't remember if I've been doing that since then, but yeah, I'm going to start collecting piles of cement. Because, you know, why not? 
Like, I, I'm going to need them eventually, I'm pretty sure, so we might as well. Why do you guys send me so far away, Jugs? Why can't you have something, like, nearby for me to do? I'm loving these. These iron tools are so good. Very satisfied with them. I do want to upgrade into the level 2 iron tools, though. Quality level 2. Uh, let's take a peek in this garage real quick. Oh, I've been here already. Empty, empty vehicle. I figured that would have something in it, but yeah, look at this. I gotta go all the way over here just to do a quest. How annoying. It's all good, though. Maybe, maybe we get paid more? If the, I, I don't know what determined... You know, they don't tell... I, maybe I'm not paying attention to it enough, but it, it's like... What happened to that chimney? <laughs> that chimney seems like, you know, um... Looks like it needs a little bit of help. Oh. Yeah, ambush! You fool. Now I feast on your flesh. Good. I'm, I don't think I'm going to dismantle. Oh. This is the end for you. Okay. This is the end of my aim, apparently. There we go. Let me see if I get an arrow back. That looks like an ambulance. I might check that out. And even if it's not, I still want whatever's in it. It is a... Oh, working tools and stuff? I'll take it. Um, a shovel. Dismantle. Still take it, though. It's like, uh, shovels should dismantle for a good amount of resources. I'm guessing these farms are probably also a good place for resources. Barrels. Oh. More wandering EXP. Foxes on the hunt. Oh, got him right in the leg. Right in the butt. Right in the face. That's what you get. Like, I don't know what it is about those specific zombies. They just seem like they're a little bit healthier. Like, they... they just like the green hoodie zombie just seems like he's a little bit stronger than... Oh, what is this wreckage? What is this wreckage made out of? Is this all rock? Oh, it's a little bit of everything. Well, it's a little bit of sand and that. Interesting. Like, I, I, I've been kind of just hitting everything just to see what it's made out of. Because, like, you know, I don't know. You don't know what it's made out of. All right, time to clear some zombies. Here comes the power attack. The power attack! That's right. Never stood a chance. I want all this, though. That's also why I've been doing, like, Jug Zone missions, is because it's like, I don't know, I just need to go into houses, so, like, if I'm gonna go into houses and take their stuff, I don't know, might as well, like, get some loot in the process, or get some dukes in the process. And, like, one place seems as good as any other place. Oh, these are all... What do I get for barrels? Not very much so far. Two wood? Oh, yeah, barrels stank, so barrels and pallets are both awful. I see you in there. Okay. Two arms! Wow. Yeah, I heard... A, I, I read a tooltip that a sprinting power attack is apparently, like, good. So I'm like, I'm trying to learn how to... Oh, this door is locked. Eh, let's change that. In case I want to go out of this door. What's the harm? Okay. And I guess it's going to start raining. Where's my flashlight? Can't see a darn thing. No one in here? Well, I hope you don't mind if I take all your cobblestone. Because that's what I'm doing. Everything good in here? Just your local fox inspector. 
Here to in inspect things or something? Yeah, just here to inspect. Not here to, like, definitely attempt to murder you in your sleep. Oh, I'll eat that. Don't be silly. Like, why would Fox attempt to murder you in your sleep? Like, he would definitely, if he was going to murder you, he would challenge you to a fair and honorable duel. Very, very good chance of success. You know, get brains or whatever it is you want. Ah. See? Very honorable. Oh, wow. He's a, a spirited one, isn't he? Take the chair. I think he's upstairs. Oh, there you are. I'm afraid the power attack is real! Stabber was Okay, that's fine too. You know what, I'm gonna put the flashlight here. That way I can quickly switch with a single rotating the mouse wheel just once. Door to room to room first. Okay. Okay. There's got to be more. I knew it. There's three of them here. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Back, I say. Back, I say. I love the lack of stamina usage. This weapon doesn't use, like, any stamina. I can just, like, swing it and swing it and swing it. Very, very handy. Okay, so it looks like we won. Now to, like, take all of their property. Oh, that thing doesn't even have anything in it. Okay, nightstand. What time is it? We got a little bit of time left. Need to make sure we're not... Completely running out of time. What is this? A bunker buster mod? Uh, I probably need to scrap some of this stuff to make room. A uh, hood. Wow. Uh, even better hood than before. Let's scrap this. And then we can take the hood. Man, like, we are getting killed on inventory right now. And, ooh, a claw hammer. I need one of those. I don't think I've built a claw hammer. Um... Is there something else that I can scrap? Um, I think Santa hat. I'm going to keep that as a cosmetic. Um, I'll probably just scrap these. There we go. Yeah, we're good. All right, now we got to get back to Jug Zone and also back to the base before we run out of uh, daylight. And I can't see. How did I get out of here? How do I get out of this crazy house? Okay, it's this way. Yeah, we got like two hours to get that done. Oh my god, it's like a maze. It's a maze! It's amazing how maze-like this place is. Can I go through here? Mm, let's just go around just to be... Look how fast I am when I'm not sprinting. I might just do a jump cut until we get back to base because this is... It's going to take a moment. It is going to take a moment, boys. Now check it out. Here's that weird... <laughs> that chimney. That, that chimney has some issues. Like, it reminds me of one of those weird... That, that weird uh, painting of... Where, like, the stairs are going in, like, every single direction. Like, it reminds me of one of those. Okay, so we've made it back to Jug Zone, but I have a strong feeling that Trader Joel's is probably closed, meaning I won't even be able to turn this in until tomorrow. We'll see, though. Oh, my God. Ugh! Turn it in! Turn it in! I am so glad to see your face. I get lonely sitting by myself all day. Oh, my God. Um. Uh, scrap something. Scrap. 
anything. Scrap. Anything. Okay. We're done. We're, we're leveled up. And it's time to head back to home because we got like less than an hour. We got to get back to home. Fortunately, like we got most of the journey done. We got our payment. Trader Joe's is closing down, but we didn't build our home. We, we built our home as close as we could that was still near a source of water. So all we got to do is get there. And then what we can do is start working on building the base and organizing things because we should have enough materials to kind of get some things going. Ooh, so slow. 18 encumbrance. Ooh, not as bad as a broken leg. Oh yeah, I got a broken leg on the um, on one of the streams. Oh, speaking of streams, yeah, yeah, you should definitely be joining the Discord so that you can watch streaming. We're doing Seven Days to Die there, as well as State of Decay, as well as any other games I just randomly feel like playing. But yeah, if you want to play a State of Decay with me, or if you want to do, um, you know, just watch some more Seven Days to Die, watch me figure out how to do things on my alt alternate play play save file that is the place to go i will um have the links in the district in the well no, I'll, I'll try to pin it to the uh the pin comment include the data there and we're gonna make it home just in time Ugh. just a little bit farther Ugh. good okay we're here wait Oh my god, we are finally home. Okay, let's get all these things on. Turn you on for a while. I don't know, like, give me like uh, uh, 15 minutes or so. That's probably good enough. Here, let's make some meat. Here, do something useful. Over here, let's get this on. Um, yeah, sure, 15 minutes or something. Yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. 15 minutes, turn it on. Let's get smelting. Just put something in there in the meantime. You know, just any anything will do. Okay, so what we have here is, looks like we're going to need another locker. Uh, I would like to build a locker for the purposes of, uh, now that our inventory is really getting junked up, I'm going to make an equipment locker. This is going to be for gear. And um, I'll probably put that right here. So this will be for equipment and medical supplies and ammo and stuff like that. So anything that has to do with food, ammo, or armor. So this can go there. All of this can go there. Um, we're going to need the claw hammer in a moment. Mods. I'll count mods as like an equipment item. What does this even do? More damage against stone. Oh, that could be. Like, why don't we just use that right now? I can modify this here. Uh, w. There we go. More damage against stone. Awesome. Why not? Seems useful. Okay, so over here, now what we can do is building materials and stuff like that can go in here. All of this can go in here. Uh, that can go in there, there. Also, let's start taking stuff out that's like equipment. Your equipment, 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 armor. I don't know what that is. A bipod mod. Increases accuracy when aiming with weapons. Interesting. Full trigger auto mod, baton parts. Uh, what else can I pull out of there? I think all of this is going to stay. Yeah, getting organized, boys. Uh, wire tool. I, I can stay there, too. Okay, so this bullets, weapon, arrows, hammer, molotovs, pipe bombs, guns, bullets, ammo, that can go in here. Um, medicine can go in there. Um, ingredients can go all in here. Ingredients, that can go in here. Gotta get organized, boys. That's the objective. Thought I heard something. But it was nothing. It was just the wind. Nothing to be concerned with. Medical supplies, medical supplies. Medical supplies. This is parts. Those don't belong there. Um, food is also going to go in that locker. So food. Weapon. Okay. Look at that. We're already getting, like, decently organized. This can go in. All of this can go in. Sewing kit. Food. Uh, that can go in. 
blueberries. A mod. What does this mod do? Can I put this on? Wait. Okay. Could have swore I heard something again. Um, yeah, let's see what this mod does. Actually, no, like, give me that helmet. Isn't that helmet better? Level 5, wow. Seems pretty good. Uh, does this have a mod in it? No, it does not. So can we modify it? Yeah, I can put this here. Uh, what does it do? Cold resistance and explosion resistance? Sure, why not, I guess. Um, modify. Plug it in. There we go. It's more modified, I guess. I have... I knew it! Where's my flashlight? Who goes there? You want to die? <clears throat> yes, he does. Okay. Unexpected. Okay, he didn't do any damage. All right, that's fine. Okay. I was not expecting the one-hit kill there. That I mean, that was really nice. All right, we're going to be using the claw hammer in a moment. Let's throw all of this in there. Oh, we need to get more smelting done. So let's go ahead and grab all of the stuff that involves smelting so that we can get stuff in. That looks good to me. Organize that. Let's put in the order of the smaller things first. That way we can kind of clean out our inventory. So let's do these, because they will smelt in quicker. And um, I guess I'm just going to deconstruct those, because we're going to do it a different way. All right, so I'm going to need, like, frames. And I guess I need, like, 40 of them? Let's start with 40. That's all fine. Um, we have more food. That's fine. Excess food can go in here. And uh, how are we doing on food? It looks like we do need to eat a bit more. What's nice about the grilled meat is that the grilled meat, it doesn't dehydrate me, so I don't need to, like, drink even more water as a result of eating charred meat. I, I noticed that my uh, my cooking items disappeared. Like, I don't know, like, if I went crazy or something, but these disappeared. Like, maybe they break down over time and you just have to do something. Like, you know, I, I don't even know. Okay, here we go. Oh, I don't need this. Let's start placing these. Very nice. Making my roof. Oh, maybe I built too many. I thought 40 would be... Okay, I don't need this many. Uh, deconstruct. Wait, let me make double check. Yeah, okay. We can go ahead and deconstruct these now. Okay, so now what we can do is use our claw hammer, and we can just upgrade these directly. Now, we are gonna we can also use the stone axe, but the claw hammer is an enhanced stone axe that is designed for upgrading and repairing. And what we got to do is we got to have uh, wood available, and we got to have cobblestone. But right now, actually, let's, yeah, let's just upgrade everything to wood first, so... All we gotta do is hold down the right trigger, and you're gonna see down in the right-hand corner, I'm gonna be gaining uh, not just a little bit, but actually quite a bit of EXP. Like, it's... You actually gain a lot of EXP doing it this way, because I was like, well, if you upgrade them, and you have to go to wood, and then cobblestone, like, wouldn't it be like a waste of resources? But the thing, the way to see it is that we're basically spending wood right now for EXP. And, like, look how much... We're getting a ton of EXP doing it this way. So, like, yeah, I'm like, would you spend wood to get EXP? Sure, why not? Tons, like 2,000? Lots and lots of EXP. So, now that we have that done, what we can do is... Can't I upgrade this as well? Oh, I need iron bars to finish that up. We'll work on that another time. Let's do cobblestone. So, we have 542 cobblestone. So, now we can start upgrading them in the cobblestone. And once again, we're going to continue getting EXP for it. The next level, I guess, is concrete. Very nice. Oh, come on. And uh, you might ask, well, what would be the difference between using the, the stone axe? Well, we can switch to the stone axe. 
you see it takes three swings with the stone axe. So the the, uh, the claw hammer is even better. It does it faster. And you know speed is nice. There we go. So it is completely done. The, I didn't think we had enough uh, cobblestone, but the extra cobblestone is fine because we'll need it for repairs. I don't need this, though. That can go in there. Um, building materials... Put the rest of those away, because like we, we don't need them at the moment. More food can go in here. And uh, let's throw some of this in there. Let's see, what's the next lowest? This, put the lead in. And then we can put in the iron, because we need more iron, because we need to make more iron bars. Iron bars are really what we need. So, uh, let me, favorites. Let's go ahead and make some more iron bars. Very nice. 42. Very nice. Getting plenty of iron. Um, what are all these mods? So we have a fully automatic mod. That sounds interesting. A bipod mod. That also sounds interesting. Let's see what we can do with these. So I'm guessing I'm going to be using the pistol a lot, and that's because I've got a lot of 9mm ammo. So let's go ahead and take out the pistol and modify it. And I can't, I can't put the full auto mod on it, unfortunately. Okay, that stinks. So I can't do that. Uh, maybe I can put it on the shotgun? Nope, maybe it just doesn't work on these. Maybe you can't put it on these like kind of like crummy weapons. That's fine, though, I guess. Let's take a look at our gear. We got jacket. Is it, like, sexier? It looks really stupid in this combination, but you know what? I don't care. I do not care. I'm going to wear it anyways. Santa hat. Okay, that replaces that, so I don't want that. We're going to keep that. Um, oh, it even has a... It actually has an armor rating. What? Why does Santa hat have an armor rating? That is kind of silly. In order to repair our gear, we're going to need cloth, right? You repair a cloth. Yeah, okay, let's get some cloth out and let's just get all of our gear maintained. So, repair. Wait, did it, did it work? Did I do it right? Okay, you don't need repairs. Do I need to take them off to repair? I might need to take them off to repair. Let's try this again. Repair, repair, repair. Okay, we're good. All right, so I don't think we have the full suit of cloth armor. So that's the next thing we should do is I have the, I think there's five pieces of the padded armor. So I have he the hat, the chest, arms. I think I need legs and boots. Let's take a look at that. Padded, boots and leg armor. Okay, so let me star these real quick. I need uh, two duct tape. Let me see if I have it already. I have one glue. I'll need one more glue. Okay, so I'm going to need um, one more glue. Oh, I don't have any dirty water on me? I guess not. Okay, where are my jars at? Jars? Okay, good. All right, time to go out here and find some... Okay, the water is just across the street. Oh, I was wondering why I was so slow. I'm like, I'm not encumbered anymore. I shouldn't be slow. But it's because I was crouching. No one better attack me while I'm, like, doing errands. That would be very, very dishonorable. Okay, one more glue. Okay, looking good over here. Let's go ahead and put the iron in. Anything to smelt over here? Doesn't look like it. We're going to need more um, clay, it seems. But fortunately, we have this very nice shovel, so it shouldn't be hard to get the clay. Glue. Now we can make duct tape. Wait, get rid of that. Duct tape, I said. Two duct tape. Two. And now I need padded leg armor and padded... Okay, there's the boots. Here's the leg armor. 
Nice. Now you might think like, is padded armor really that good? But there's actually historical evidence that we did use padded armor in real warfare. And the reason for that was because it was known as um, a gambeson. That's what the suit of armor was known as. And it's because, like, if you think about, like, you know, Gambeson is way more effective than this. But if you imagine if you had, like, a knife and you had to slice through somebody wearing, like, a bunch of pillows on their body, that would, you know, that, that wouldn't be that easy. And if you didn't have pillow armor in return and they had a knife, well, they'd probably chop you up and kill you before you would chop them up with their pillow armor. And it's just because, like, it's actually kind of annoying to cut through that quantity of, um just padded cloth, and gambeson armor was basically, like, just a whole super thick, like, quilt that you are wearing, and so it's actually, like, yeah, there's actually historic evidence of mass production padded armor as a, a cheap alter, a cheap armor for soldiers to wear. So, like, yeah, it actually makes sense that padded armor exists within, within the game. Okay, now we can build more tools. Oh, I've got more skills, too. I got two skill points. I just want to upgrade all of our gear. So I might do Javelin Master so I can get the um, the enhanced metal spear. I hear it's better to, to specialize, but before I specialize, I just want to try everything out so that I know which ones I like the best. So I want that, and um, I kind of want Pummel Pete as well because it's going to let me build the baseball bat. And I haven't tried that item before, so let's give that a shot. So now I should be able to make the spear. Spear. Iron spear, we have the iron. I just need uh, three duct tape. That's fine. Three of these. Wait, why can't I make more of these? Oh, I need murky water. Murky water. Three of these. Nothing to it, boys. Gonna, like, get more high tech. And then we can throw some of these other items away. And, yeah, we, it looks like we definitely need more clay. One thing at a time, though. One thing at a time. Our inventory is already looking so much more organized, too, now that we have a second one. We also have our metal armor. I mean, we can wear that when the, like, night wave attacks. Okay, now we can build duct tape. Three of these. Very nice. Now we can build an iron spear. That's going to take a minute, but, you know, oh well. And, um, oh, the, the baseball bat. How do I base? Ball bat. Baseball, it's made out of metal? Interesting. Maybe it's really good then. Um, I just need one duct tape for that. So let's go ahead and build one more of these. And then, I mean, it's going to take a moment because they are being built in order, but I've never tried that weapon before, so it might actually be, like, really awesome, and I just, I don't know. Maybe I've been sleeping on it this entire time. The only way to find out is to try them all. Oh, yeah, that's right. The duct tape won't be done. Um, and that's not going to be done within the time frame of this episode, then, boys. So, like, uh, I guess I will put these in here. But that's all the time we've got. Look at this. The fox box is coming along. Not sure. I'm, I'm going to at least build more pillars here to, like, prevent a cave-in or something. But, um, yeah. Uh, I mean, like, I think we got one. This is it. The sixth day. So we got... This is our final day before the, um, the seventh day attack. Uh, we've got guns. We've got a bow and arrow. We've got, like... Co uh, cobblestone walls. Uh, maybe we'll build some, like, barricades on the outside, some, like, spike barricades to stab the zombies' feet. You know, make it, like, a little, you know, a little less welcoming for them. Who knows? And then we'll see how it goes. Anyways, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Like the video if it was entertaining. Subscribe for future 7 Days to Die content. Of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.